Hey, this is Mr. Mason Ed, and what we're going to do in this video is we are going to practice solving for x when we have a variable on both sides, and we're going to use that information to find the measure of given angles. So let's start with this problem here, which reads that we have to find the value of x, meaning x in this expression and this expression, and then we have to use that information that we find to find the measures of angles ABC, CBE, DBE, and ABD. So the first thing that we want to take note of is that this angle right here, ABD and CBE, are vertical angles. And that means that they are going to have congruent angle measures. So that means that this expression should be set equal to this expression. So let's start by doing that. So we're going to write that 9x minus 18 is equal to 6x plus 3. So whenever you have a pair of intersecting lines, you're going to have vertical angles. And those are the angles that are directly on the opposite sides of each other. And they are going to be congruent. So whatever expressions you have to represent each one of those sides, you have to make a statement that they are equal to each other. Because that is always true with vertical angles. All right, what we have to do now is solve by x by getting x on one side of our equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking this term over here, 6x. And because it's positive, we are going to write the inverse, negative 6x. So it cancels out on the right side. And then we're going to move it over on the left side by doing the same thing. So we're going to subtract 6x from 9x, which leaves us with 3x. And we still have minus 18 over here, so we're just going to slide that down. And that's going to be equal to positive 3, or just 3. Now what we're going to do is take this constant right here, minus 18, and we are going to send it to the right side of our equation by doing the inverse. So we're going to add 18 on the left-hand side of our equation and on the right-hand side. So now that gives us positive 21 over on the right. And on the left, we still have 3 multiplied by whatever x is. Now, what we do to get rid of this coefficient here is we divide the coefficient by itself. Anything divided by itself is positive 1. So that leaves us with positive 1x. And on the right-hand side, we have to do the same thing to balance our equation. So we have 21 divided by 3, which is 7. So we have already determined that the value of x is equal to 7. Now, that doesn't tell us what the measures of these different angles are. What we have to do now is take this 7 and plug it into this expression to figure out what the angle measure actually is. So let's go ahead and start with this expression right here, 6x plus 3, because I can just look at it and see that it is easier to work with than this expression. Now remember, whatever our answer is over here on the right, because these are vertical angles, we're going to have the same angle measure here on the left. So we're going to write the expression 6x plus 3 and substitute our variable with 7 and then solve this expression. All right, 6 times 7 is 42 plus 3 is 45. So we would say that the angle measure of CBE is equal to 45 degrees. Now, because this angle is 45 degrees, that means angle ABD is also 45 degrees. Now, what we want to remember here is with any intersecting lines, is that the angle right next door is going to be a supplement to that angle. So angle ABC and angle CBE together form a straight angle, or half of a circle. So we know that if we find the measure of this angle right here and add it to this angle right here, we have a sum of 180 degrees. So to find the measure of ABC, we can just take 180 degrees and subtract 45. And what we end up getting is 135 degrees. So the measure of ABC is 135 degrees which means the measure of angle DBE is also 135 degrees. And one thing we should take note of is if you add all four angles going all the way around in a circle, we should have an angle sum of 360 degrees. 
If we add 135 and 135, that would give us a total of 270. If we add 45 and 45, that's 90. And if we add 270 and 90, that does in fact give us a total of 360 degrees. All right, let's go ahead and do another example. All right, for this problem, we have to find the value of a. So instead of using the variable x like we did in the last problem, we have to find the value of a. And we have to find the measures of all four angles that are shown here. So let's go ahead and set these two expressions equal to each other. Because once again, we are dealing with vertical angles. So the value of this expression should be equal to the value of this expression. So we are going to start by writing negative 4a plus 177 is equal to negative 10a plus 237. Okay, what we're going to do first is we are going to take this negative 10a and move it on the left side and combine it with this negative 4a. So we only have to deal with one variable. So the opposite of negative 10a is positive 10a, and that will eliminate it from the right-hand side of our equation, and we have to add 10a on the left-hand side. So positive 10a and negative 4a is a total of positive 6a. We still have this plus 177 over here on the left, and on the right we still have positive 237. Now we do the opposite of adding 177 to get rid of this constant on the left. And do the same thing on the right. And if we take away 177 from 237, we end up with 60. And we have 6a over here on the left. Now we divide the coefficient by itself, and we divide the other side by 6 as well. And that leaves us with a on the left, and on the right we have 10. So now we know that the value of a is equal to 10. All right, now that we know that 10 is the value of a, let's go ahead and substitute it for one of our two expressions so we can see what the angle measure is of those two angles. All right, so let's take negative 4a plus 177 and substitute a with positive 10. And the product of negative 4 and positive 10 is negative 40, and we have to add that to 177. And that would give us a total of 137. So we would say that this angle right here has an angle measure of 137 degrees, which means this angle right here as an angle measure of 137 degrees. And this angle right here is the supplement to this angle. So we know that whatever this is should be added to 137 to make 180 degrees. And that would be 43 degrees. And we could get that by simply taking 180 and subtracting 137 from 180, which would be 43 degrees. And if this angle right here is 43 degrees, this one over here is 43 degrees because they are vertical angles. Hey, I just want to say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.